making fudgy brownie tort. Tort, correct. Ooh. Finally, we've gotten to the chocolate. Yeah. Oh, finally, the chocolate. <laughs> I've never made a tort, by the way, so this is an exciting oh, this, moment It's, it's, for it's me. easy. You know, there's a lot of flour in it. It's really a, a dense dessert. So, ooh, you've been uh, busy during that commercial break. Yeah. You've been yep. we, we've got, mixing something. Yep, we've got everything melted down here. We've got the stick of I Can't Believe It's Not Butter cooking the bacon sticks. Well, I have to tell you, this product is, we've found that it really, really bakes, cooks, tastes like butter. It's Just really like good, pliable. It's got 50% less saturated fat and no cholesterol. We've got uh, some cocoa in here and chocolate chips that mm. are going in here. So now I'm going to beat in a couple of eggs. Probably beat one of these eggs. You got Stand it. Around with hands. Are they semi-sweet chocolate chips? Or? I know my chips. I'll tell you in a second. I think that's a semi sweet. Semi sweet. I'm going to say semi sweet. Yeah. Correct. I was mm. testing it. Okay, we're going to okay. put in some sugar. Okay, so we have eggs, we have the chocolate, we have yep. the granulated sugar, a little bit of vanilla going in, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt. And I'm going to get all this mixed up well because once I put the flour in, I don't want to really beat it to death. I just want to incorporate the flour. Bobby, you want to add it pretty slow for me? That flour? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. This is where you and I are going to come in. Okay. Right? All right. Karen, you can grease that wax paper. Okay. Got it, boss. A little bit of no-stick uh, cooking spray. That's right. Okay. So you're just slowly adding that flour. Not yeah. all of it at the same time. Okay. Kind of slow. And Because you know, the thing about it, it's just so dense. Look how which gooey is, that looks. I know. Ooh. Which is why I love it, because I love oh. the edges. The chewy yeah. brownies. That is heaven in a pot. I could mm. we could stop right now and I'd be happy. <laughs> I could just eat it with a spoon. I get three spoons and just we're like done. That. I'll turn this wow. up. Look how you get getting the smell of that chocolate. Oh it's yeah. Excellent. It's Love like throughout it. the entire permeating mm. the entire kitchen. Now are we gonna put that back on the heat or not? We're, anymore? we're gonna pan it and then we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. So no more stove. No, no, no well, so you, well yeah, there is another piece to the stove and that's oh, where you come okay. in. More chocolate. Okay, and this is going to come right out for us, so we'll plop it right in the center. Okay. Wow. That came out nicely. Mm. Gosh, that smells so, so good. good. It's going to be even better once it bakes. Yeah, good job. There we go. And then right. in the oven it goes. Okay. At 350 for about 20, 25 minutes, and then Jamie, Jamie and I are going to have you make the topping for it. Great. So okay, so the torts, the torts in the oven. We're yep. making the icing. We have heavy cream, some more chips. Yep. These are big chips, by the yep. way. I love it. Okay. Okay. Got what a else? pad of. Can't believe it's not butter. Just yep. a little bit. Use my fingers. There, there you go. That's okay. the best <laughs> tools you got. <laughs> All right. So no sticking. And watch so your heat. Watch slinging it on my brother. Sorry. You got a couple different things to be careful about, <laughs> Taryn. How high is this heat, and how long should it be? This on is for? a hot. It's a little too hot. My brother sabotaged. Me. <laughs> this is a commercial. I know, right? He sabotaged. <laughs> commercial stove. It doesn't take but a second. The the heavy cream reel. You put that in first, and the temperature of that's going to break that chocolate down. Yeah, and okay. you're done. That's it. Yeah. You're done. All right. And check this out. This is our lovely tort that we just made. We took that's it right. out of the oven. It's been cooling for about 20, 25 yep, minutes. That's so right. it's ready to be iced. If yep, it were hot, this. it would be a mess. You want it to be a cool. hot mess? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You want it to be cool to the touch so right. it doesn't. Ooh. So we can keep our uh, keep our sauce on. Tell, tell me what you're feeling. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even put it into words, Bobby. You smell it? <laughs> All right, so I have a question for you. This is a serious question. What exactly is a tort versus a cake? Tell them, Jamie. <laughs> I, I, Letters. I, I, okay. A, a, tort, a tort, has, tort is the one that you're doing today. Okay. All has, right. Uh, the more flour and is the more dense and it doesn't rise. Okay. That's, that makes sense. That is just a beautiful <laughs> job. Would you like me to help you? <laughs> <laughs> you're very sweet and very subtle. Thank you. Clearly, I've never iced before. All right. So we're going to put so your garnishes are raspberries. A couple of raspberries. A couple of raspberries. Oh, raspberries yeah. Right in the center. Okay. You know what's really pretty? If you have time, you can put raspberries all over the whole thing. Oh, and a mint leaf would be nice. Okay. All right, it is time to dig in with the Dean Brothers. I've always wanted to say that. We're about to dig in with the <laughs> Dean Brothers. We've been cooking up a feast today. Let's recap what we made. Oh, these were incredible. These uh, twice-baked twice sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. With the uh, ginger and the cinnamon. Yep. Amazing. Then we moved on to these uh, buttery holiday cookies with the icing. So great to make with the kids. Super yep. traditional. And we haven't tried this yet. Let's do so. This is the fudgy brownie tort. Oh, that's it, oh. baby. By this the way, in the commercial break, I was licking the spatulas. Full disclosure. <laughs> she was. That I good. Saw that good. So we've cut it into little squares. And what's this on top? A little cranberry. Treasure. It's a sugared cranberry. You would just uh, dampen it, you know, roll it in a little water, and then roll it in the sugar. Mm. So, the, so the sugar sticks to it. Oh, uh, this is a one bite deal. Mm. One bite? One All right. Bite. I got to mm. do whatever Jamie says. Okay, here mm. we go. One, two, three. Mm hmm. Mm. You're going to talk while I chew. Mm. Mm. That is so, so delicious. Mm. It's got like the chewy brownie edge. The whole, the whole. That is decadent. Yeah. And so That's simple. Nothing to it. Mm. 
That is amazing. So simple, exactly. So All right. we three for three then? Did you like everything? Yeah, three for three, three. exactly. Yeah. All right. It's time to talk about this book. This is your third book. You I've guys been. just wrapped up your book tour. That's right. Take it easy. And we, and we really demonstrated why, you know, you're taking it easy in mm -hmm. this cookbook, huh? Yep. Nothing complicated about any of the recipes. I think Jamie and I both think that um, it starts at the grocery store, you know what I mean, the simplicity. You shouldn't have to buy too many ingredients, and you should be able to get them at your local grocer. And you should be able to put these meals together quickly and affordably, and that's exactly what this book says. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love the pictures, by the way. There were these great pictures of yeah. you and the family, and you guys are all yeah, together. And hey, and I, I'm so thankful to be able to do this, to, to pass on him. You know, the first book that Mom did is all the recipes that we grew up eating, and so it's like, you know, having them all bound and given to us. It's such a, a great gift, so I love including Jack. And yeah. this is really a celebration of our family heritage and where we're from. This is a, a taste of the South, and, and we're, we're keeping that and we're changing it a little bit, making it a little bit more healthy. My grandmother used to cook with a lot of lard mm -hmm. and uh, would slow cook, and we don't have time to slow cook now. So, yeah. you know, we're cutting corners and keeping the integrity of the recipes and the flavor. Keeping the flavor. Yeah, and celebrating, you know, who we are and where we're from. Yeah, yeah we, do, we, do, we do a lot of the same th foods that our mother does, but we just do them slightly differently. And that's nice. A little variation is nice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Everyone has their, their own spin on it. Absolutely. Yep. Now, you mentioned your mom. Let's talk holidays. Thanksgiving is behind us, mm -hmm. but everything else is coming up. Yep. What are the holidays like in the Dean family household? Bobby and I are both grown now. I have a three-year-old at the house, so we don't wake up and get together every morning like we used to, but we definitely get together in the middle of the day. Mom does a big... Who does the cooking? Does your mom, mom do the cooking? Does. Mama does. Okay. You know, she it's really domain. loves to do it. it it's a awesome gift for us and but mom loves to get in there we share our love through food well she's huge on holidays too i mean she if if she had her druthers we would all be spending the night at her house on christmas <laughs> eve right you know we'd wake up and do the stockings together in fact she asks every year and occasionally i'll go over there and stay but mom uh, came to my nice. house at six o'clock in the morning jack's first christmas morning really yeah uh, mom was there and my wife's parents were there and everybody watched him kind of teeter that's in sweet Come on, you, you and don't play with feel, the wrapping paper. You have to have a little bit of an urge to to dive in on the holiday meal. You, you guys just let mom take over. You don't. It's what little... it's what she wants. It's okay. it's natural for her. She... Everybody kind of preps and everybody cleans up, but mom oh. takes a whole day, you know, putting things together. Yeah. And you know, we're lucky. She loves to cook. That's and nice. We love she to sit eat. down and eat. All right, which yeah. is what we've just done, and we're going to continue. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. This Great being with you. Such Taren, a thank you so much for and joining us. And when you're in Atlanta or Savannah, we should That's say right. not Atlanta, right. Savannah. There's a big difference. When you're in Atlanta, drive to Savannah. And exactly. When you're in Atlanta, drive to Savannah. <laughs> the name of the restaurant is Lady, Lady, and Lady and the Sons. Of course, be sure to make a reservation there. All right, we got to go. We'll see you next time at the chef's table. Enjoy. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> For today's recipes with the Dean Brothers, log on to abcnews.com slash gma slash recipes. ABC News Now. Good to know.